we have we have this issue here. Okay, so um, you know, I have a deck of cards over here, so you can see I have all the different kinds of cards. Um, and I want to shuffle these, and I want to do this by way of formula. So what I need to do is I actually need to have a result where this deck of cards, which you can see is in order because I've just opened it from the box, I need to shuffle it. So the question is, how do I do that? Now, um, you have you are going to have to use a, ran, a random function, and I'm going to show you. We have 52 cards, so I'm going to start here. I'm, I'm over here on the left. I have one, two. I'm going to actually just drag this down just so we have an index that's going to match uh, how many cards we have. So... The, the way most of us would think to do this is to actually use ran between, right? Because we have one, we have 52 cards, one, 152. If I drag that down, I'm going to get a sequence of um, random numbers. The issue that we have here, and I'm going to just hit F9 just to cycle through um, through these. The issue is that, that we have is that uh, these numbers repeat. So there's no guarantee, first of all, that I will uh, get all unique numbers down here. And there's also no guarantee that some of, that all the numbers are going to appear. So this is a big problem. So we want a, a set of formulas or a series of formulas or a series of steps, I should say, not using VBA that will allow us to come up with a random uh, sorted order without any repeats. And that's going to be how we're going to shuffle our deck. So you can see here, I'm going to just hit F9 just to show you that I'm going to go through this. This is a problem. So how do we fix this? Well, we fix this with really two steps. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some noise. Now, what noise it means is that we're going to add a little bit of um, data just so um, just so that the numbers are different from one another. And I'll show you why, or explain why in a second, why we do that. So what I did here is I went up between our ran between. You can see this is between 1. Um, if I scroll down, that's 52. So um, numbers are between 1 and 52. And then I wrote this thing plus row divided by 10,000. So row is going to return the row. In this case, the row is 2. Um, and then we divide it by 10,000. What this is going to do is it's going to um, divide that 2 by a very large number. So a small number divided by a large number comes up with a very, very small number. Now, I'm going to hit Enter, and if I double-click and we drag this down, you see that I've added these small amounts um, here. Now, why did I do that? Well, let me just show you, and this example worked out. I didn't even plan this. Remember, this is random, but this worked out really well. I'm just going to show you that we ha a 49 came up here once, and a 49 has come up here twice. So what this row does, because this is going all the way down, is that it ensures that even if numbers repeat, the result is always going to be unique, because there's never going to be another row uh, 14 um, that will be included in this. So that ensures that there's always going to be uniques. Now, we still have one other issue uh, in all of this, which is, okay, so I have these series of uniques. What can I do now? Well, what I can do is I can use this other function called rank. And what rank will do is rank, I'm actually going to use the old version now. Excel has um, newer versions, but I'm going to use the old, old version here, so no period. So what rank does is if I select this number, and I select this whole region here. And I'm going to hit F4 just to lock it in. And we don't have to worry about the order, so we're going to just close that. What rank does is it's going to match um, the location of uh, that number within the list. So what this is saying, um, what this is saying is that uh, the number 38 ranks 14. And because we know we have a unique um, series of items here, uh, the result, unique random order, is always going to work out. So um, let me see here. So I've, I've dragged this down, and now what's resulted here is that this is actually a unique list of the sorted order. So basically what we're doing is this uh, 33 and all of this, this means that this is in the 33rd position within this and descending within this um, whole list here in descending order. And, you know, again, since these are all unique, if you rank them back in, um, the result is always going to be unique. So this gives us a sequence of um, discrete whole numbers that, that work out. And so one of the cool things in here is because there's 52 items here, you the rank always has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 52. So it's always going to be um, 1 to uh, 52. So what I can do here, now that I have a, a unique set of numbers that go from 1 to 52, is that I can actually just take um, this here, uh, this unique random order, and um, so let's just rewrite this formula. I'll just do this here so you can see it. So I'm going to type in equals index. Let's just start it over. Equals index. We're going to say within this series of cards, select this here, 
and I'll hit F4 to lock it in. I always say to lock it in. So, one moment. There we go. So I've locked it in, and now that I have our unique sorted order from 1 to 52, I'll close that off. I'll hit Enter, and I can drag this all the way down. And that is how we get a, um, a unique card list. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to show you. I'm going to prove this out. So we have the cards here. Here's the um, Ace of Spades. I'm going to count this within that series right here. You can see there's a 1. All of these should be equal to 1. I scroll down. The sum is 52. So this is indeed a purely unique random sorted order. And that is how you do it. Wow, that's great. Clever. Always, so, yeah, very clever. A very simple way to avoid the duplication, too. Because that always bothered me about the random numbered thing. Yeah, the duplication. Oof. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, th this sort of came to me, this uh, <laughs> this formula. But it's yeah, great. I was trying to figure out so, yeah. it. Nice.